in terms of getting out of the goal, how realistic of a shot that is. Steve. Yeah, no, no, I, de- I definitely think it's realistic. I, I know we're in with some very, very good teams, some of the best teams in in the world. But the thing about a World Cup, it's it's a one-off game, so it's just about who shows up on the day. Um, yeah. I know, like obviously, we we understand the teams that we're playing against and and how good of teams they are. We're playing against India, Pakistan, and those are some some elite T20 teams. <laughs> Yeah, it's always uh, it's always exciting to play the the opening game of the World Cup. Uh, yeah, we've been looking forward to it. We we've been a little bit unfortunate with the weather for our warm up games, but I think everyone's ready to go. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I'll say it's pretty fortunate that we were able to play Canada in a series about a month ago. So I got those uh, little what do you say weird feelings or nervousness out. Um, I guess that going into World Cup is such a big stage and obviously a country that I represented at the World Cup. I played a couple under 19 and the men's World Cup for them. Obviously, it's it has its its feelings, but being part of the US squad, we played a couple of series, we've been playing well, so we're, we're pretty excited and ready to go. With just hours to go before the start of the ICC men's T20 World Cup, we're in the final countdown phase for the start of the tournament. We we are here with Nitish Kumar, USA player. Welcome to another edition of At the Wicket. Welcome, Kumar. Hey, thank you for having me. Yeah, it's good to have you. Um, we we must be looking at you. Must be excited looking ahead to the tournament tomorrow. Um, how excited are you about the start of the tournament? Yeah, it's always uh, it's always exciting to play the the opening game of the World Cup. Uh, yeah, we've been looking forward to it. We we've been a little bit unfortunate with the weather for our warm up games, but I think everyone's ready to go. Um, it's nice to be able to play the opening game. I remember playing the opening. I wasn't playing, but I was part of the Canadian squad when we played the opening game of the twenty eleven World Cup, and it's it's quite an event. The first game of the World Cup. I, I presume it will be an, an eventful game for you given that it's against Canada, a team that you would have played for for so long and know so well, you know, from leading Canada to now representing the U.S., you've become a symbol of growth in the Americas, the North America, I should say. Um, how do you feel about being on the forefront of such a historic movement? Yeah, I, I think I'll say it's pretty fortunate that we were able to play Canada in a series about a month ago. So I got those uh, little, what do you say, w- weird feelings or nervousness out. Um, I guess that going into World Cup is such a big stage and obviously a country that I represented at the World Cup. I played a couple under 19 and the men's World Cup for them. Obviously, it's it has its its feelings, but being part of the US squad, we played a couple of series, we've been playing well, so we're, we're pretty excited and ready to go. Yeah, and you've been in stellar form uh, recently, especially that match winning 6-4 against Canada. How, how do you maintain such high level of performance? And what's your mindset going into this game? He only played a few games and then the Bangladesh series didn't bat too much. But the type of format T20 is, it's uh, when, you, when you're in, you just have to make an impact with regardless of the amount of balls you're playing and, and stuff like that. And I think we've been training real well. We've been having a lot of cricket over the last uh, month or so. And uh, I think that's all it is. It's all a mindset thing. I, I think uh, it's not looking too hard into maybe like how you hit the ball and stuff like that. It's about scenarios and just making an impact on the game. But from my batting side, I think I've been f- feeling pretty pretty confident and pretty positive that I'll be able to, uh, if the opportunity arises, to help the team out. Yeah. And, you know, a win against Canada um, tomorrow in Texas would be a monumental um, feed for you guys. Um, describe describe to me what the level of impact it would have um, on your career, you know, on the popularity of the sport in, in, in the US and just and, and how it would set things up for the group going forward. Yeah, I, I think uh, winning any World Cup game is pretty, pretty big. Um, but I know for us as a group, that's it's it's uh, it's a game that we need to win. It's uh, the first game, but there's not many games in the group stages. There's just four. So you don't really have uh, time to sort of uh, get into the tournament. You have to be ready to go from the from from the first game. So for us, it's really important that we we win because we need a little bit of momentum going into some of the the games after that. We play Pakistan probably six days after and then India. So we just got to make sure we build up a bit, bit of momentum and play our best cricket. Yeah, and would, would this set set you up um, in such a way to 
to, to get out of the group that must be that that must be the primary focus to get out of the group um so a lot of people they, they would look at pakistan and us and say, oh these teams are sure shot at getting out of the group but um i, I presume that it's a world cup so the the likes of the us canada would want to get out of the group and ireland has been playing good they would want to get out of the group as well um so in terms of in terms of getting out of the group how realistic of a shot that is Steve? Yeah, no, no, I definitely think it's realistic. I, I know we're in with some very, very good teams, some of the best teams in in the world. But the thing about a World Cup, it's it's a one-off game, so it's just about who shows up on the day. Um, I know, like obviously, we we understand the teams that we're playing against and and how good of teams they are. We're playing against India, Pakistan, and those are some some elite T20 teams. But at the end of the day, for us, it's for us to be positive. We understand the obstacles that we're against, but. At the end of the day, it's a one-off T20 game, and on the day, it's whoever makes more of an impact and plays better. So that's definitely a focus to try to play our best cricket and, and, and win a few games and try to get out of the group. Yeah, and, and you must maybe have specific plans as to how you want to approach the game um, uh, in general, but also how you want to approach each game in terms of getting the, the setting yourself up in the best way to, to get two points out of, out of each of these games. Yes, uh, so we've been... Uh, pretty fortunate to play a couple of series before this so we've been gelling pretty well and we identified a, a type of way we like playing and, and and the way we like to approach our cricket um for us like we're not looking too far ahead we know tomorrow's an important game and that's all our focus we haven't really given thought about the other games as yet um we got a lot of time in between games so it, it's been the lead up to tomorrow has just been all about tomorrow's game and just figuring out what's the best uh way to way to come out on top yeah, and, and the match, the map, the opening match is said to be historic um, in Texas, you know, cricket in the U.S. Um, a lot of people have uh, wanted to see this for a long time. I, I guess you're one of those persons, you know, playing in, in, in North America, want to see it for a long time. Um, how significant um, do you think it is uh, for you personally? And also in terms of the growth of the sport um, for, for, for the fans and potential fans, I should say, because a lot of people will jump onto it now. Um, having the work up in the US. Yeah, it's it's huge. Um, obviously, being uh, born, I was born up in Toronto, but being born in North America, we there hasn't been something like this in terms of cricket to this magnitude of a tournament. So um, playing at home is, is probably one of the, the best things, but also a lot of pressure because you're playing in front of your home crowd and obviously you want to do well. And I feel like it's really important because we have the major league that's starting to get up and running now. There's the Olympics up in 2028, if I'm not mistaken. So this is, it's the world stage. It's it's one of the biggest tournaments in the world. So it's 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 a very important sort of uh, month that we have, but uh, not to mistake that our job is to go out there and just play cricket and play to the best of our abilities. Yeah, and win the fans and win fans over. Um, now, in terms of the fans, since we're talking about the fans, what would your message be um, to these fans? Oh, I just say come out and support. I, I don't think you, you you never know when the next World Cup in the U.S. will happen. Like something like this, it, it's it's massive. I don't think we really realize how big of an event it is. Uh, just being involved in it, and I can say that firsthand because when I played the 2011 World Cup, I didn't realize how big of an event it was until like we didn't play a World Cup. So being around here, being it. It being so accessible, so watching some of the best teams in the world, watching U.S. in the first World Cup, so I'll definitely tell all the fans, cricket, and even if people don't know cricket, you come out, you you sort of have a watch, and you'll see how big of a tournament it is. Yeah, your journey has been an inspiration. I I, I want to describe it as, you know, from from Canada, born in Canada, playing for Canada, playing for the U.S. now, from a country that is not from from areas, let me say that, let's put it that way in terms of. The north of north america that isn't has never been traditionally strong cricket in nations yeah so what advice would you have to young cricketers in us and canada who are dreaming of playing cricket internationally i'll just say you um you just gotta work hard i was very fortunate at a young age to be uh put into the toronto cricket academy that was run by the the late mr hale who was uh who was my coach and until he passed out I, I would always always seek advice and stuff from him but it's important that to, to work on the basics and, and work hard but it's also important to enjoy the game I, I know the obstacles that are there um playing out in the in the us and canada but nowadays with all these t20 leagues there's so many opportunities to to show your talent and skill out in in, in the global stage um 
but if it's something from from my side, if it's something you really want, you you got to sacrifice a little bit and you got to just push. Um, it hasn't been the smoothest journey. Uh, played for Canada, went out to England, uh, did my got my degree there, was at Loughborough at the MCCU program, uh, then came back home back to US. But it's all about being persistent, right? And and it's uh, it's very similar to the game of cricket. If you have to be persistent because things don't really go all your way, I'll say majority of the times. But the time it does, you just have to make sure you step on it and 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 keep that momentum going so for any young guys around the u.s or anywhere it's 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 about hard work but it's also about enjoying the game and and really you have to make sure you have to look deep inside and make sure you're giving 100 percent because a lot of people say yeah i'm giving it my all but you have to really give 100 percent yeah uh, because you know growing up in, in areas where cricket it might not be um the strongest thing you being a part of that that group being a part of that history is always good to see the pioneers of, of that change, of that legacy that you want to leave behind. I, I must ask you though, um, prior to the game, if 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 you should envision, let's put it this way, if you should envision the headline for the back pages of tomorrow's paper after the US Canada game, what would you what would you what, oh. what do you think it would be or what would you want it to be? Uh I don't want to jinx anything, so I don't want to say anything. Obviously, we want to win. Um, we want to win. Um, and to be honest, I don't really care how we win. I just, just want to win. Uh, whoever does well, I hope everyone does well. But whatever happens, it's it's the win at the end of the day, right? All the individual stuff is great, but there's nothing that trumps a win for the team. So I just like the W, but I'm not going to put a quote out there of what I want the thing to be tomorrow because I don't want to jinx anything. Well, so, US get off. To a, to a flying start of the T20 World Cup in Dallas. I guess that's what you'd want it to look like. You won't I'll say take, it because you don't want to drink it. I'm not going to say it, but I'll take that. I'll, I'll take that. Any, anything that gives us a W. So that's 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 what I'll give you. All right. All right. Thank you, Nitish. No problem. Thank you for, for joining us. And I hope you, you go out there tomorrow. Have a good knock. I hope you guys put the best foot forward and come away with that W as you just spoke about. So. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you very much for having me, guys.